You might have heard the term resting in God. We hear about this in scripture, right? Maybe you've wondered, what does it actually mean to rest in God? Well, let me tell you, because sometimes we think, well, God rested on the seventh day, so therefore we are meant to just lie down once a week and rest and not do anything. Resting in God under the new covenant is actually very different, right? Because the seventh day, right? The Sabbath day was a type of what was to come that we can actually find rest in him, rest for our souls at any moment of any day right now. And so the way we do that is by shifting our mind and our heart into agreement and alignment with his truth. How much do we believe God? How much do we trust him? Do we believe that he is who he says he is? Do we believe that we are who he says we are? Do we believe he's as good as he says he is, that his promises are true for us, that he's protecting us and providing for us? So this is something I encourage you to do is just notice uh, am I believing God right now? Am I trusting him? Or am I in agreement and alignment with some other truth that is not what God says? And this is such a great way to start discerning, am I at rest or am I not at rest? And if you have really wanted and searched for a way to learn how to rest in God, learn how to release the burdens that are keeping you from resting in Him, and actually experience His peace and His joy every day, I invite you to my next Experience in God's Love Intensive. I am going to walk you through how to release the pain, release the burdens, and rest in Him. This is no cost to you. It's a five-day experience, and I hope you'll join me. You can go to wakeupjoyful.com love, click the link in my bio or around this video, and I really hope to see you there because I'm excited to walk you through this beautiful journey of learning how to rest in Him. God bless you.